Hello, welcome to the video. Today we're going to have a very cozy, chill video about my last market experience. I'm going to tell you all about how it went, how many sales I had, and you know, in general, the experience getting there, setting up the, the table. This time there was an entire weekend and oh boy, it definitely took a toll on me. I have been on zombie mode this entire week and barely, I haven't been able to do pretty much anything. So this is going to be probably a very short video because there's not that much footage from the weekend. But anyway, I hope that you find it interesting and that maybe this experience can, I don't know, teach you something or maybe encourage you to make your way into some art markets these holiday seasons. It's definitely, I think, a good way to put your work in front of new people's eyes. And yeah, I hope that you like the video and I'll definitely see you in the end. So this is the morning of the art market. We are trying to set up the good vibes to start the day. So I had this checklist that I printed on to make sure that nothing is left on and that I may need it later. And then here I decided to paint my nails, <laughs> you know, to be presentable. Then we are finishing packing some of the very much needed supplies to set up the table. I got some little bags for when people buy post postcards and stickers and I offer them. There is my tablecloth that did not work this time either and some cardboards that I used to um, make the prints to be still so that people can see them. And my acrylic displays for postcards and those are for building the stickers displays. This side of the suitcase is pretty much ready, so now we're going to fill a couple of decor stuff that I use on the table and well on myself. And then we are going to pack the prints and the stickers and the postcards. I always put them on the pocket on the other side of the suitcase to secure them and try to protect them from scratches or bending uh, from the other decor stuff that I use on my table. So I'm always trying to find the best way to place them there so that they stay in place the most possible inside of the suitcase. And yeah, this is why you are watching me do here. Basically just storaging them. It's like a Tetris game in here. <laughs> there are some office essentials like scissors and scotch tape and pens. Here are my business cards and some of the price tags. I have storage them on those boxes. Now we are closing the suitcase. This pretty much is everything that I pack for my conventions. If you would like me to make the list for the markets available, I can totally link it down below. You just let me know in the comments. And now I'm getting ready just to leave for the art market. We needed to be there at least before 12 in the afternoon because the market started at 1 p.m. until the 9 p.m. of the day. So there I was featuring my t-shirt. Of course, it's getting really cold here in Berlin. We need to make sure we are the most warm and cozy as we can when we are moving towards the market. Just checking that everything fits before leaving the house and we are ready to go. Market, here we go. A 
arriving to the market, we actually got lost. We couldn't find the entrance, but then here we were. Luckily, the table was in an indoor space, as you can see here, because I don't know what would I've done if the table was actually placed outside because it was freezing cold, you guys, and here the sun is setting by three and a half p.m. almost. So yeah, well, I was actually grateful that it was an indoor space. Here I was checking that my outfit was well placed. So for the first two hours of the first day, I was almost sold anything. I was getting a little bit worried and with the low energy that day, everything was so crowded. The vendors was, were actually complaining about the little space of the tables. Um, me, myself, I couldn't put up the big grades because I didn't have the space, but we still tried to put a good face and have a nice time. Maybe vibing with the music that the place were having. You know, just to <laughs> make the day as pleasant as possible. As you can see, I had a lot of time that day to have footage that I did not have that time before that I did an ad market. Here I was actually checking on someone that was watching my stuff just to see if they you know wanted something and we are redoing the suitcase for the next day just grabbing some essentials taking off the suitcase anything that i wasn't needing and this was where i was standing on the next day i actually asked to be moved to this hall where there were many other artists with prints and stuff So as you can see, that was pretty much it with the market. The first day was definitely not a great day. I had a lot of dead time there. Um, I didn't get to really talk too much with the vendors that were sharing table with me. And I was kind of having this, um, should I be here <laughs> feelings. And just because it was already paid the table for the entire weekend, was what actually made me say like, okay, we'll be doing this tomorrow and we try to do it better tomorrow. Also because I needed to remind myself the drill of the events, like what you got to do and how can you, you know, attract people to your table. Um, it's, it's a muscle that needs to be remembered and trained. And I am an introvert, so I mainly, <laughs> quiet in my space, but yeah, that was pretty much the first day. Now, the second day, it was actually much better than the first one. Mainly, um, I believe because in Berlin, people are really used to, to going out on Sundays to uh, flea markets and art markets and actually buy stuff. On those days, it's like a tradition here because nothing else is open. So definitely there were a lot more of people that day circling on the event, but also the people were more, a, you know, more um, prone to actually buy stuff. They were looking to buy stuff either for themselves or for gifts. Another thing that was actually different was that I got to move my place from where I was on the first day. I was in a very awkward spot the people floor was actually on the back so they were not facing my work on front unless that they turned so yeah that was kind of uh, deterring people also from seeing what i was offering that day so on this second day i was on a hall where people either coming from one side or the other eventually they will see what i was having on my table and also i was sharing space with other artists like me so they were like um, a lot of the kind of same products around so people kind of you know will be like okay these are prints and stickers and it's art and you know maybe they were walking that hole 
with more of that mind of, okay, I'm getting art in this little hole over here. The bad part was actually very, is that it was actually a very narrow space for people to walk. So when the halls was actually very crowded, people were a bit uncomfortable, making one to move faster. But the rest of the time, actually, when the market started that day, I started making sales almost right away. And it was definitely a much better day than the day before. And also I got to share and to actually talk and to get to know the people that I was having next to me, which they were amazing artists, they, so warm, um, you know, full of this desire of doing stuff and, you know, getting to know them and their stories. It was actually making a, a great moment in my day to get to talk to these people and to know them. I think that was pretty much it for the Sunday. Sunday was definitely, definitely a much better day and in total I sold 97 products from all of the wide range that I was having. As always the best sellers were the postcards, people really dig those. I even sold out of the designs that I was, the Christmas designs that I was offering and the stickers were also a great champion of the weekend. I did sold out of a couple of them and from some others I only had like one or two of them left. Again, for my surprise, people really dig the large prints, which were the largest items that I was offering and also the expensive ones. And they were like loving it and even taking more than one. And so that was actually pretty good because I understand when people buy like postcards and, t and stickers they're like you know smaller items and cheaper so they can get more stuff from the market but when people make the commitment to actually get a large print it's like they really like what they see and they want to see it in their walls so that's always a great feeling <clears throat> and a great experience to have as an artist and a vendor on these events i was definitely was able to make the table fees for both of the days and make a difference. Again, like the last time, it's not a huge difference from the total cost of the weekend, the table for the weekend, but still I believe that is actually starting to cover the production that I have been having to make for producing especially the stickers that they were like outsources and and well, on the prints, I'm, I, I still have to buy the materials and stuff for the prints. So those things are almost, almost getting covered. But well, that's pretty much it on the financial side of this adventure. I think that would be, that would be like the sum up for the experience of the market in general. Like I said, especially on Sunday, I had a great time on Sunday. I did really have a lot of fun and yeah, of course, the sales and the people engaging with my art was an incredible spirit boost for me. So yeah, that was it. So I guess that's all for this video. In general, I am actually feeling very, very happy about the entire weekend. I got to meet the most amazing artists there and do great connections. Um, I am so, so grateful for all of the people who went by to my table to get something either for themselves or for a present, for friends or family. Um, it's always amazing to see how you guys react to my art in, you know, in real life and how you will say that you love it, that you love the colors, that it makes you feel happy when you see it because it's definitely what I want to convey when I create any artwork and I am like, you know, feeling inspired by, some, by something. So definitely these art markets, if maybe not, you know, only uh, financially are like a help to help me like, you know, running my business and having a little bit of income from what I, for what I am doing, you know, but definitely are like the greatest um, energy and spirit boost that you can have because this, these interactions in real life, guys, are priceless. Like, I'm, I'm really 
you cannot understand how happy it made me feel any every time that i get to like you know talk to you and you guys are like picking something or like you know it's so hard to choose one and it's this kind of stuff it's what they let you know that maybe i am doing something right you know after all because doing everything across the screen even though i'm trying to like you know um be the most real me that i can be here and i'm like sharing a lot of stuff all the time on instagram it's still a screen you know i cannot really see you or see your faces or see your reactions and what you're thinking about what i'm doing so again i just wanted to say thank you to everyone who just stopped by even to just say that they loved my art it's it's amazing it's really really amazing i'm i am so grateful for it it couldn't be a better um christmas present for me to be honest and so on the other hand like i said i got to meet amazing artists over there i hope that i can you know start making more friends here in berlin because so far this has been a very lonely year for me um i don't have any art friends here and that's something that i have been craving a lot so that was like one of the highlights of my weekend getting to talk to these amazing people who are just you know trying to make it here as art artists there and yeah so if you wanted to like i don't know if you were like oh we missed everything that you have been sharing because on the weekend i was like you know sharing a lot of stuff on my instagram please uh go ahead giving me a follow there because i share many 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 updates on a daily basis there also new art and my shop deals when i had them um i don't know any relative information just to keep you up to date you can go there follow me on instagram if you want to go more and beyond you can also get something from my shop it's all linked in the description box one tiny reminder my shop will be open until mid-december because after that i will be taking a very much craved vacation time until next year so if by any chance you place an order before that time then you might get it now in on december but if not then you will probably be getting it after january 10th is when i will be coming back to my regular schedule so be aware of that if there's anything that you want to get from my shop there are a few items that after this month they won't be available again until maybe next year i'm not sure if i will restock some of those so take a look Make sure that you are not missing anything because they might be gone later. So, there you know. Shop will be closed on December the 20th, I believe. I will be posting updates about the exact time that I will be closing it. But yeah, so to be aware of that. And yeah. I also have a Patreon, you can join me. There's already a lot of content there. And I would love to keep creating more content so so far if you have watched this entire video long short whatever it was thank you thank you so much because it means the world that you are actually staying to until this point i mean like it's how crazy is that you have given me all this time of your attention if you want to give it a like maybe subscribe if you are not subscribed already to my channel because i've been trying to push videos every week every time i can of course every time that i have content because i also try to you know like if i have something to share then i will share it and so yeah i hope that you stay here with me and that you have a good day have a great week and i hope to see you in the next one bye bye